name we pray. Amen. Welcome to our Open Campus event. It's great to see some new faces visiting our AP Latin class, so you're very welcome. I also want to say a special thank you to our regular AP Latin students who are uh, in being a part of this showing of hospitality to invite other people into our class. It's lovely to see you. I'm so glad that we could do this. What we're going to do today is read a passage of Virgil that is taken from book one. It's in chapter four of the Virgil workbook that we use as one of the textbooks for this class. So we're going to uh, work through some translation with a bit of discussion along the way. And then when we finish our translation work, we go into more uh, grammatical detail as we work through specific questions about specific words or specific passages. And this is what we do day in, day out of AP Latin. We've got some great translators in the room right now, and uh, I think you're in for a treat. Now, a few announcements before we start that. First of all, congratulations to everybody who got an NCEE medal. Okay, those of you who meddled in the National Classical Etymology Etymologic uh, National Classical Etymology exam. There, I think I said it that time. All of you who did get medals have been contacted by me so you know who you are. If you're interested in looking at the website to see how close you might have been to a medal break, you can just Google National Classical Etymology Exam and you'll be able to find the website for that. So feel free to do that if you're interested. We had 81 medalists for Wilson Hill this year and I couldn't be happier with that number. It was just fantastic. So there's that. Also, Junior Classical League meets tonight. Those of you who are members of this club know that our theme for tonight's meeting is our Roman feast. I sent out the link that has the recipes that we're all going to be making, you know, recipes including ostrich ragu and wild boar. But no problems if you didn't get a chance to get the wild boar in time, Emily. You can still come even if you don't have anything to present, you can still come. I am making the recipe that is the um, eggs, boiled eggs with the pine nut sauce. So boiled eggs could always be a good opportunity for those of us who weren't able to find ostrich at the supermarket. But uh, <laughs> yeah, those who weren't able to come to class today were out, uh, out late hunting their wild boar, and anyway, it's going to be a fun club tonight. I'll see you there, Roman Feast. I think that's all the announcements that I have for you. Let's just dive in, hey? So our passage today is really about Neptune's response to the storm. To bring you up to speed, we know that Juno is angry at the Trojans. She's certainly taking this anger out on Aeneas and his men as they're sailing to their destiny to found the new Troy there on the shores of Italy. Just because it's their destiny doesn't mean that Juno has to make it easy for them. She sweet talks Aeolus and offers him a beautiful wife if he will let go the winds, and so he does. So we've got this big storm, and that's what we were translating earlier. And then remember how we had Neptune like lifting his head out of the water and looking around? I just love that image. And he's basically having a I did not authorize this kind of moment. And we're going to read about his response to the storm here, where he um, is quite angry about it, and he reinstates his power over the waves. All right. So let's begin. Those of you who are visiting, we really do try to read this in meter, although with a little asterisk that says we're all still learning. So so we'll all just do our best, right? 
those of you who are reading today, don't get nervous just because we've got visitors today. We'll just do our best and that's what we can do. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start here at line 132. We've got Tan Tane Wos Genaris Tenuit Fiducia Westri Yam Kai Lum Ter Ram Queme No Sine Numene Wenti Mis Geret Tantas Audetus Tolera Moles Should have put on my grouchy Neptune voice. I might think of that next time. Abigail. It just occurs to me, we go down the list and call on people to read, and it just occurred to me that I might accidentally call on a guest. If I accidentally call on a guest, don't worry, guests, you don't need to translate. But I know Abigail is up. Okay, can you hear me? Okay. Tan tane vos generis tenuit fiducia westri, yam kai lum teram quemeo sine numine venti, mis geret tan tas au. Wait. Tan tas au detis tolere moles. There we go. So. Has so much pride of your birth seized you? Now, without my consent, O winds, do you dare to mix up heaven and earth and to upheave All right, good job, Abigail. Just to highlight this verb, audatus. Do you dare? This is the sort of textual evidence that we have that Neptune is angry. He's not just saying, oh, it's windy. He's saying, do you dare to stir these masses up? I'll just go back to the top and read it again so you have it in your notes. Has so great a confidence in your birth or in your origin taken hold of you? Now... Do you, plural, dare, O oh, winds, to stir up heaven and earth without my divine power and to raise up such great masses? Masses, I'm thinking sort of masses of confusion and also more literally masses of water that are reaching up to the stars. Remember we talked about that hyperbole last time? Yeah. Masses both of confusion and masses of water.